So I got uh, a rather confusing question, and I sometimes when I respond to things, people think I'm angry with them or I'm talking down to them, and I, I don't mean to be at all. Like uh, somebody somebody sent me a book, um, and uh, I hadn't seen their comments in a while, and they asked me a question. I said, oh, you know, I said, uh, I meant it to be kind of like a passing comment, like to say, like, uh, I fin I uh, I received that I'm reading the book and they took that as very hostile and uh, I don't want to have that repeated because I it wasn't meant to be hostile or anything I wasn't angry at them at all I was actually excited that they commented so I could tell them um, but uh, on this is strange um, on a video that is thir over 30 minutes long um, this comment was typed, isn't it Yiddish? Um, again, I, well, I, this isn't, I typed a response, but then I, I think I should probably maybe not have typed it. Uh, I, I, tried, I was uh, trying to say, like, well, I understand Yiddish to be this, and I'm like, okay, that might not be good, or you know, maybe I should just respond with questions, which I did. I said, what do you mean the Torah? Do you mean the alphabet ben Sirah, black magic rituals? Do you mean the Jubilees? Um, or are you asking what Yiddish is? Because, I mean, this is not to be confrontative, but I, on a 30, over 30 minute, 30 minute and 36 second video, isn't it Yiddish, is unclear to me. Um, but, uh, again, I don't have a total memory of what uh, my videos are done. And, again, I'm not trying to... Yeah, but uh, from Yiddish, from what I understand, and I hope people, uh, if there's any Jewish people um, or people who know about Yiddish, uh, if, if you want to clear some of this up down in the comments and, and type what you know of Yiddish, like about where it comes from and everything, go right ahead. From what I know of Yiddish... Yiddish is a German dialect, or um, a dialect of German. It comes out of, uh, it's a Germanic uh, form of language that I believe uses Hebrew characters. It's, it spells things in Hebrew, in, in, with Hebrew characters, not in Hebrew. Um, but it, that it's very close to German. Um, and uh, it's a few hundred years old, I think. Um, Maybe le maybe 500 or less years old. I don't think it goes back a thousand years. Um, I guess it's popular with it. Were, it was popular with the Ashkenazi Jews or the Jews in uh, Germany, um, and it became a language spoken over in like the New York City when the when the immigration was happening between 1918 or 1819, and then up to I guess 1938, right? Because that's when they just started, or maybe 1941. Um, I don't know when the exact implementation of like Crystal Mock and stuff like that went on, and when there was um, when you could actually be deported. When and then when it was like, okay, now you can't leave. Now it's too late. Um, but yeah, my understanding is that Yiddish is a a um, Jewish German dialect. It was it was uh, kept by the Jews, and they implemented the, the writing system used uh, Hebrew characters. Uh, I don't know if that was to make sure that people knew the Hebrew characters or know how to pronounce them. And then I think that might be the reason why the Aramaic speakers or, or um, I think Yemeni Jews don't like the way the Israelis talk. Cause they think that uh, form of Hebrew is influenced by Yiddish. I think that's why, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not 100% sure that that's the full story of Yiddish. Um, again, Yiddish is one of those languages where it just hits my ears, and I just can't talk. I mean, the, the sound of Yiddish is probably, to me, this isn't a judgment on the people who speak it, or, I mean, just like how there's, I, I don't like um, most country music I don't like. Um, uh, I I don't hate people who like country music or hate people who sing it, but uh, to me Yiddish is probably the most repulsive sounding language. I mean, it's just it sounds like uh, 
people are mocking when they talk. Like, it's just like, it, it, I, I don't see how, I, I just, I wouldn't have respect for somebody who spoke that. I'd be like, what? Like, French just hits my ear and it makes me cringe, but Yiddish more so than French. French is, is pretty out there. Um, I think, oh, French is beautiful. I think Spanish and Italian and Portuguese are far more um, attractive languages than uh, than French will ever be. Um, and actually, every language is better than French except Yiddish, and every language is better than Yiddish. And after French, I would put Hebrew, even though I think the reading of it is cool and... Uh, if it were pronounced differently, I'd love it, and I'd love to learn it. I'd still like to learn just to be able to read it. Um, but uh, the Torah was written in in Hebrew, um, and uh, the Tanakh was written all in Hebrew, except for some parts that were written in Aramaic, um, which uh, Aramaic and Hebrew are very close. It, their letters are almost identical, and uh, pronouncing them is very, very similar. Um, they're both from the ancient Semitic, which was pretty much the, the language which I believe the Hebrews invented. I believe the ancient Israelites invented that. Um, I, uh, people try to credit the Phoenicians, but I think it was the uh, the ancient Israelites. Um, I think people now try to say Canaanites with trying to get around saying Israelites, but uh, um, that's also the language that Babylon spoke, and then when it came back, it was, uh, that's why in Herodian times it was spoken in, uh, in Israel, Samaria, Galilee, um, Judea. So there was um, parts of the Old Testament, like Daniel and Malachi, and I think it's only like one sentence in Malachi, and it's just part of Daniel. And I think in a few other places, I think maybe in like Ezekiel or Ezra or something like that. I don't know, I don't know the exact places of those. Um, but the New Testament, nothing in the New Testament was ever written in Aramaic, ever. No, no, no early Christian work. There were things translated, um, and I think there's a better translation of what they knew it meant in um, the, the Peshitta, and I think that, that you can get a better idea, at least with the Gospels through what it is, and I think it's, it's strange when you see the variance between the Masoretic text, the LXX, and the, uh, and the scroll of the Qumran, and then you read the Peshitta, I think it's invaluable and, invaluable, and somebody who gave me a copy of the Peshitta, I, actually they gave me two copies, I value those immensely, um, but yeah, the New Testament was written in Greek, but you can see the expressions, like the eye of a needle, rope, camel, that stuff. To my knowledge, Ben Sirah and Jubilees was written in, in, in uh, Hebrew, and uh, most of the Talmud. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the Talmud was in in Yiddish um, or Aramaic. But uh, yeah, as for that stuff, it's uh, old stuff. Is is uh, Yiddish didn't exist at the time that the Torah was written, or the New Testament, or most of the Talmud, I believe if the Talmud is as old as people claim it to be, but, uh, yeah. So that's my knowledge of Yiddish. Um, I didn't know which question was being asked, because, um, uh, all right, well, take it easy. Peace to you, my God, save Serbian Syria. I figured I'd answer this this way also. All right, uh, yeah, anybody who knows uh, a lot more about Yiddish, just put a uh, thing down there. I, again, this is not one of those cases where I want to go check out on Wikipedia or something like that, or internet source. I'd rather hear it from uh, a person since uh, this might be one topic where there's people putting in. You know. Alright, take it easy.